Hey everybody, Mike here with the Happy Weekenders. Well, fall is here. So one of the things that we like to do on a colder day is make something a little more hearty for dinner. And by that I mean a steak soup. We do it in a crock pot, takes all day, smells delicious in your, in your trailer all day. Um, we make this at home too, so this is not just necessarily a uh, an RV di dish. We this is a this is a home dish. We just happen to be out and about right now. Uh, it's raining outside, ugly day, so we're gonna have a inside day and uh, make some really delicious food. I wanted to show you what this is about. It's real simple with a uh, well, not terribly too many ingredients. You're gonna need some salt and pepper, a quarter cup of flour, a package of uh, onion soup, beef broth, ketchup, you're gonna laugh because I can never say this word, Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> I'm sure I butchered it, a little bit of oil, some egg noodles, and about two pounds of uh, beef uh, sliced into one inch cubes um, you can have it pre you can buy it that way pre-done at the store for uh, your crock pots and stuff like that but um, anyway it's gonna be real real easy what you're gonna do we're I'm preheating my skillet right now we're gonna put the flour put the flour in the beef put some salt and pepper in there with it shake it all up brown it up cook it probably about 75 percent 80 percent through and then we're going to put it in the crock pot and i'll show you the next steps from there okay so we've got our two pounds of um, beef sirloin that's chopped up into about one inch cubes we are getting that cooked right now and as soon as this is uh, cooked through uh, for the most part uh, this will take you a few minutes um, we're going to throw it in the crock pot and then from there, we'll throw all this other stuff in and we'll go through that kind of step by step. But this whole process, I mean, the prep time on this is gonna be maybe 20 minutes and then your cook time will be about eight hours. And then you're uh, having a meal for numerous people or if it's just the two of you, you're gonna have plenty of leftovers, which we love. All right, so we got our two uh, pounds of beef kind of cooked through. We've got it here in the crock pot now. Again, it's a quarter cup of flour. Mix with some salt and pepper to taste. You do about a teaspoon or so, but that's always just kind of a, well, whatever works best for you. Um, so next, we're gonna throw in a, a full 32 ounce thing of beef broth. Four cups is what it is. I think that's what it works out to be. And then uh, we have the crock pot on low. All right, so next we'll do the Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> yeah, I know, I can't do it. Um, I always just kind of just wing it. There's different ideas of how much, but you know, tablespoon or two seems to be just fine. All right, next will be the onion soup mix. Just dump that right on in, the whole thing, one packet, and then ketchup. Now, recipes you'll find online, We'll actually call for tomato paste. Yeah, tomato paste. But we never actually pack tomato paste in our trailer when we're going on the road. So I found that ketchup is a great substitute. If you're at home, tomato paste. But I actually can't tell the difference, to be perfectly honest with you. All right, so we're just gonna kinda mix that in. That's really it on low for about eight hours. And then about 20 minutes before we wanna serve, 
we're gonna throw in the egg noodles to cook in with this. So this is just gonna sit the rest of the day. And uh, dinner will be ready in eight hours. All right guys, so it's been about seven and a half hours now. The trailer smells amazing. This is, again, this is just one of our favorites. You can see here, it's been uh, cooking down. So what we're gonna do, just real quick, about two, three cups of egg noodles or so. And just mix those in, simple as can be. And then uh, about 20, 30 minutes and we'll serve it up. All right, the time has come. It's cooked up, the noodles are done. Check that out. Boom, looks freaking amazing. Like I said, real simple. Now at home, we'll make some rolls or something to go with this, being that we're out camping, I just went ahead and got some pre-made guys. They go real well with this. I'm gonna serve this up. That's it. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll keep this thing going and showing you other uh, things that we do. And have a happy weekend, guys.